Well, well that's that happening. One of our mobile suits is evolving. Dun 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 dun. I know it's not even close to the Pokemon music, but fuck it. Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Mimasaga New Dawn. Oh, it's so shiny. Has anyone else got like a Native American feel to the shoulder pads? I've always had that feeling. That's right, folks. After much deliberation, I have decided to make the sand rock. Um, some people will probably say, Lokanhar, you fool! Why have you made the sand rock when... Well, spoiler alert. We're getting to the point of the game where uh, we're going to be getting mobile suits aplenty real quick, as a matter of fact. Um, so that's why I was kind of hesitant to make the sand rock at first. But I think... I think it shouldn't affect my e caps. Uh, we'll find out. I've um, I've got a save point, so if necessary, I can always go back. I don't want to, but if I have to, I do. Anyways, we now have the sand rock, which a lot of people pointed out is a goddamn tank. And you'll notice I have a 99 goof data. Guess what I have been trying to do? So we have the sand rock, which means I have to give it to someone. Oh, and by the way, um, that also means that we're up for uh, sand rock color key schemes. For now, I'll leave it at the default uh, color, but. Uh, Let's switch out MS here. Uh, Tristan, I think you're going to actually get the sand rock for now. I don't know if it'll be there for very long, but... Switch mobile stoops. Uh, mobile stoops? Stoop kids afraid to leave the stoop. Uh, armor is 150. That's actually pretty good. What is the... Alright, fine. I just want to see the status of it. What is the armor for... Punch-Out King? 92. Not even close. Holy shit. All right, so we need to do some part setting real quick, and unfortunately, that means you get to watch me do it because I wanted to make sure I made that thing on TV. You like TV? Of course I watch TV. All right, let's go ahead and unfortunately strip down you because I think I'm going to give the Mark II over to Vargas for the time being. So let's go ahead and strip everything over here. Nothing to see, folks. Just uh, basically a, a mobile suit nude porn. Come on. Can't remove the. Oh, it's because he's in the suit. Uh, 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 switch him the suit. Vargas for Punch Out King. Switch. All right. Whoops. Didn't mean to exit that. Damn it. Set parts. Now we can strip it down to the base. Legs remove. Arms remove. Arms remove. All right. So there he goes. He's out. Set parts for Stun, the Punch-Out King. You will not need the high-powered wing. That's going to go right to Tristan. You won't need any of this shit. Any of this. We're... Come on. Damn it. Oh, that's right. I actually have to give him something for that. <clears throat> I could probably leave him with the Mark II legs, at least. Zagok Claw, no, you don't need that. And you can take the other Dom arm. That looks goofy, but we'll come back to you here in just a moment. Uh, anyways, where is uh, the Zaku? Oop, there he is. Sandrock! Sandrock, your speed is actually... Why won't you show up? That's interesting. Oh, there he goes. I was about to say the Sandrock wasn't appearing. And hadn't run into many glitches, but that was one. Anyways, let's find the... High powered wing takes the armor up and the speed up tremendously. I like it. It's got a ring to it. That yellow color has got to go though. Because this doesn't look gold, it looks piss yellow. Power device. Where's my power device? Power device two and HP parts three. I wish I had a couple more of those HP parts to throw on there. Actually, power device. It only takes you down by 10. That's not too bad. What happens? Initial energy for it, not really that great. Two, kind of better. I need to get him up to five. And the reason why I want to get him up to close to five is to let him have the ability to power charge quickly. Yeah. Yeah, we'll stick with what we got here. Okay, so Sandrock armor. I'm going to take my armor down quite a bit, as a matter of fact. But we need to get his actual... 158, 166. Probably gonna count spikes. Wow, the speed goes up a lot for the count spikes. And actually, takes that armor down a shit ton. An absolute shit ton. <sighs> decisions, decisions. We need to get Tristan's power up a lot more. 
It doesn't look as goofy as it could. It's just going to drop his armor. Yeah, see now, that's part of the problem is it starts just dropping his armor. A lot. It makes his attack speed so friggin' high. Uh, Sandrock arm. No, not legs, arm. Wow, even at this point, the claw is outclassed, too. Wow, 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 wow. Nothing pretty well makes up for that. What about the legs? No, 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 the legs. There we go. Armor goes up with the Gundam legs Kai for some strange reason. Takes my health down by about 100. Speed down tremendously, too. The, really, the guy in legs actually give me a benefit. That's gotta look goofy as shit. Yep, that's a terrible idea. <sighs> to be honest, though, I don't know if it's worth the shoulder parts. That's still a tremendously high amount of speed. That is by far the highest speed we've got right now, and that's saying something. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna stick with that. Where is the Mark II? No, not you. Yeah, we're gonna definitely give you gonna give you a quick change over here. Armor, good. That's what we want. Dom arms are gone. No, what gives you more armor? Nothing gives you more armor, really. Surprisingly, the Gundam legs are much better. Actually, no, I'll take that back. Okay, I need to increase his armor. Ooh, wow. Quite a bit, but it takes his speed down to nothing. But that's okay, because he is, for all intents and purposes, going to become a tank. Yeah, nothing really gets past the Gundam armor there. And this is where we can actually add... That would definitely make things a little easier. And swing. No, that's good. Large type wing. Looks a little goofy, but whatever. And now we need to give him some extra armor. Get him up close to what Sandrock's got. I would love to actually have another extra armor to put on him. Hmm. Could either put the recovery system on him, or... Yeah, it's 10%. Per, it's 10%. Well, the enhanced propellant would be good. Takes his speed down by a lot, but right now speed's not that big of a problem. But speed... Uh, I don't know. Oh, I do have extra armor. Well, shit, sorry. That's what's going on there is extra armor. Okay, now I think we're good. <laughs> a lot of people commented about how goofy this looks. And yes, it looks extremely goofy. That's why I did it. Um, this mobile suit's probably going to get replaced out here real quick. Uh, and by that, I mean Aeon's mobile suit's going to get replaced. Uh, probably used the Diaz for quite some time, actually. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, you know what, I think that's good. The only thing that is not good is that we need to set our weapons up. I always forget to do the weapons part. Well, no shit. Uh, okay, well, let's start here. I need my, don't need the shield. Not yet, at least. I want my, where's my rod type beam weapons? There they are. There's one, because it increases your melee. I was surprised when I learned that. Uh, where's my heat shoto? That should probably get replaced here rather soon as well. Come on. Line up, damn it. Uh, there's no point in really giving him that. Gundam shield's too big to be used here. That one's too large. No, way too large. Way too large. No, might be just... Knuckle guard. Equip on the right arm. Knuckle guard. What does knuckle guard give me? Knuckle guard gives me a three armor. Ooh, wait, but it increases my melee. Does it actually increase my legitimate melee? It does. I need to get another one of these knuckle guard Kai's on the right arm. I forgot that increases my melee attack for that. And just to increase the armor a little bit more. Oh, really? Uh, oh, you have to remove one. Not worth it. Okay, metal shield. Have to remove knuckle guard. Alright, whatever. This is actually a pretty optimal loadout for that. Uh, let's see here. I wish it told me what... Oh, this must be... Yeah, this is definitely him. Alright, you... are gonna get my best shield. And what else are you gonna get? Titanium shield is shite. 
I want you to take Iron Spear. I forgot about that weapon. I uh, could give him the Tomahawk, but the large Heat Hawk Kai might be better. I don't really have a whole lot to give him, actually, right now. Railgun, shotgun. Shotgun might be pretty good. <clears throat> Long range rifle. Sniper rifle. That's what I want to give you. It's a sniper rifle. You could give him. Uh, no, nope, Zamble Cannon doesn't work. Of course, we have to increase the amount of. Stupid amount of. Uh, power you can get. Oh, you have to remove them. Well, it's going to be the Metal Guard, of course. Uh, what else? We need to give you a melee weapon. Gundam Saber 2 would probably work well for him. I should actually give that over to uh, Tremmy, as a matter of fact, but I haven't gotten to that point yet. I uh, can't give him that. I think we're good with this, actually. Well, wait, wait, wait. Shotgun? Shotgun. We can include a shotgun. All right, that'll do for now. So we've got a new color selection for the Sand Rock. And I still have that. You know what? Let's have the Sand Rock on screen. Let's switch. Interesting. Isn't it beautiful? All right, let's get the hell out of here. And you know what? We're going to... There's a lot of optional stuff you can do right now, but I am actually going to start going back to the story itself. God, those wings look so bad. It's, it would almost be worth it to drive back to Diggin' Rock just to freaking get rid of it. All right. So if I remember correctly, we need to go to Fort Verd? 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 Um, hmm. Which one's Fort Verd again? Uh, we're going to go over here. I think that's like the first fort we go to. We'll find out if I'm terribly wrong. God, I hope this is Fort Verd. I just realized for a moment I thought I wasn't recording. That would have sucked. I can just start it over again, I guess. Ominous music. Oh, well, that's what the guards look like, too, eh? I need to color those different. But the pink color looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and save here. Records. And no, I'm not going to end the episode here. That would be a dick move. Oh, all, all you saw me do was uh, flip through menus, guys. Sorry, JK. All right, we'll make a new save spot. Oh, I completely forgot. I wanted to say something. Um, and this is to, uh, if anybody's a frequent visitor for the mecha board on 4chan, uh, I want to give a good shout out to uh, Oda King Paul Johnson for uh, being able to release his TIE Fighter animated short. If you don't know what that is, go take a look on it. It's on YouTube. Look for the actual one by uh, Oda King. It is fan-freaking-tastic. And for a one-man project team, it was damn well done. Damn well done. I liked it. So go check that out if you haven't seen it yet, folks. Oh, no. Stay away. Don't come near me. Why are your eyes shut tight like that? I feel like that's a character model glitch. Hmm. Well, I'm not even anywhere near you, Aeon. Or Eon. What's wrong? That black mobile suit's behind the gate. Oh, yeah. That was Master Gun. Wow, that was a long time ago. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, exactly. I'm tired of fucking running, too. We're starting to get some pretty impressive mobile suits. Let's take this shit on the road. Now, there shouldn't be any random encounters out there, and I think there's a boatload of story encounters in here. There he is, the black mobile suit. Oh, no, sure enough, it is him. Um, I'm pretty sure he's... I'm going to go out on a limb here, folks. He's probably related to you. Uh, did you look at what he looked like? Although they haven't really said that he's the pilot yet anyways, I suppose. Spoiler alert, I'm calling it now. He's the pilot. Ah, I called it. Nice hair. What did Dr. Giro style it for you? Dear God. Mysterious boy. Slightly confused boy, but whatever. Well, you know, when we first met her, we kind of bonked her on the head, and, you know, like Goku, she just kind of forgot all that killing business. Huh. So it's true. You really did lose your memory, Mega Man. Do you really know who I am? Of course I do. I know you quite well. Oh, oh, uh, ew. Uh, it is 
Japanese, I guess. Hmm. I'll help you remember. After that, you can do the recalling on your own, Aeon. Flashback. Yeah, watch out for that moonshine, man. It'll kick your ass if you're not careful. I love it when I see people just downing moonshine in one shot. It's like, all right, keep going. Let's see how long this will keep up. <laughs> what did you do to her, you fiend? He was standing there the whole time, jackass. Are you blind, too? Keep your dirty hands off of her. What is she, your little murder machine? Is that like restarting the computer? No, oh, this ought to be interesting. My mission? I'm getting a lot of Ellie vibes from Xenogears here. Actually, no, that would be more of ID or id, depending on how you want to pronounce it. I always liked calling him ID way back in the day. Trust me, we really couldn't take on the Master Gundam right now. That's that's not a good plan. You might you have the Sandrock, granted. It's overpowered as shit in its own universe, but the Master Gundam takes an entirely any G Gundam mobile suit stakes an entirely darker territory in terms of overpowered. It is the most super robot Gundam has ever even come close to. It was still enjoyable. I, I watched it. I enjoyed the hell out of it. It was The dub was kind of cringeworthy at parts, but it was, you know, it, it's pretty good. I only watch it the dub nowadays. The subtitle's okay, I guess, but just something about the cheesiness of that dub. Especially that damn announcer. Come on, come on, come on. A boss, a boss. That's pixelated as hell. Oh, great. He's got a boom gate. Oh, well. Hmm. Hello, Death Army. I'm gonna get a shit ton of rod type beam weapons after this. I did like the Death Army. Speaking of G Gundam, the Death Army, folks. The you know the uh, the Mobile Suits in Action series. If everyone remembers those coming to the states, I used to collect the shit out of those. But the Death Army one was never one that I got. There are dozens of them. They just keep coming. Yeah, Fritz, we know. <laughs> Whoa. Man with wolf on head says, "What more fodder? More exercise? <laughs> no time for this shit. Let's rack this up quick, yo." That was incredibly bad accent on my part. Don't let you go down, guys. Just moon them, Trimmy. That'll take care of the whole thing. All right, so... Yeah, I did remember the heal. That's good. In retrospect, I should have probably upgraded the sand rock a little bit, but fuck it. So outside of the story battles, I don't think we should have to worry about random encounters, which is kind of nice. All right, so death what? What are you? Death... Death army? Death counter. Ooh, counter. Mmm. 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 I kind of want to get. Uh, who has. Is it you, Aeon? It's probably Aeon. Aeon, do you have your techniques? Let's see here. Defense Jammer. Reduces all targets. Defense. That's what we want. And we want boosts. And we want a large beam cannon. Bazooli and Fritz, for a good portion of the remainder of the game, are just going to be solely meant to be wiping enemies off the face of the map in one fell swoop, which is one good reason why I have them uh, boosted up to this amount of EN off the bat. I was kind of hoping Aeon would get that defense jammer off first, but her speed's so... I think, actually, Fritz has the highest speed out of everybody. Oh, wow. We won't even fucking need it. Damn. You boys are screwed. Oh, missed on that one. And yes, uh, that is the double Zeta backpack on the back of Bazooli. It's called the uh, the double booster in this game. Oh, wow, man, we, wow. Defense Jammer is not even necessary at this point. Holy shit. <sighs> wow, and good experience to boot. We might get a level up off of this before too long. I think there's something like six, five or six encounters in this area. All right, here's the next one. At least they're piled right in front of each other. There should be a boss fight, I think, too. I get these forts confused. Oh, you guys are wrecked. Now, you can also make use of funnel, but remember, the average damage gets divided up amongst more enemies. It's a better technique to use for a uh, 
let's get Vargas out of here. I'm curious to see how well he performs. Um, it's a technique that's more suited to single combat than it is multi-range, but it does work. Uh, what do you... Oh, you don't know anything. Speed all would be useless. And high grenade only hits a single target. Mm -hmm. Sniper rifle on you. Hopefully the memory cursor remembered that, because that went way too fast. Oswald Shears said... Not bad. Didn't kill anything, but not bad. This ought to kill something, though. And this is the primary reason why I, I kind of build Fritz and Bazooli towards this way. Um, Fritz, at this point, he's kind of not where I want him at. The Hayakashiki is really good, and I love his speed, but... Oh, you also... Oh, that's, that's fucking cute. Let's switch you out for Tremmy. Tremmy, I think, has enough for a quick attack. Boost, Speed Lancer, go Speed Racer, go Speed Racer, go Gun and Rifle, Fight, Large. Um, and Tremie is definitely nowhere near where I want her. Ah, yeah, that hurt. Encounter Zone, well, I'm going to be attacking you, jackass, so no point. Um, yeah, Tremie is definitely lagging behind here, and so is Vargas, and it will be a little while before I get those guys up and running. Now, there is, I don't think I've ever actually made a Death Army mobile suit. No, I don't think I ever have, actually. All right, so Tremmy just got herself wrecked. That was effective. Uh, no. Who, who uses little to... Yeah, Fritz, we'll use yours. All right, that'll take care of that. And continuing... Oh, wow, there's a lot of you guys up here. Now, there... You could get the items if you left them here. Like, the, I think there was a hacking tool in here once upon a time. So you could claim those if you want, if you haven't already. You've been in this fort, like, twice now, though, I think. So I don't see why you wouldn't. Okay, let's switch you out. Let's put the sand rock into gear. Oh, I didn't notice that. The sand rock actually has burn guard. Oh, that would make sense, giving the desert-like origins for it. But that is interesting. You are dead. You are shot burst with a uh, large beam can. Ooh, no, 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 no. Gotta be careful with the last person. Love that double beam gun. Wish I had two of them. I love that it takes only like two energy to use, too. That's fantastic. Well, that hurt pretty good. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. We won't be seeing the, the penultimate mobile suit for... Uh, Tristan here for a little while. But once I get it, he will be my meleeing machine, which is what I'm turning him into. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to end up turning Tremmy into as well, is more of a melee. They're going to be my people to deal with. Oh, nice, full repair. Vargas Learn, Plasma Cracker. Okay, that's fine, whatever. I like how Vargas learns a lot of these like Xeon level things for it. Nice. Did I just get into a battle or a random battle? I'm assuming a battle. Well, we'll find out. Heat show tell, boost, da 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 da. Alright, let's go. Yeah, that's not gonna help. Defend all you want. You might have better luck standing all of your troops in a line, that way that you know the number of shots only reaches so far. Heat show tell. Did it burn him or give him physical damage? I like that he has heat guard. I did not I did not know that the sand rock actually gave you heat guard. That is actually a really fantastic little thing, and it's a bonus too. Okay. Alright, Bazuli leveled up. Bazuli by far is Gatling Fire. It's about friggin' time. Tremmy learn Napalm Bomb. Alright, that's fine. And we looks like we'll have another level up here at the next battle too. Okay. Well, it's not a red battle, so I'm assuming it's still just a lower level one. Yeah. Really? Only two of you? I thought that would have been like your opening gambit. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, the Hayakushiki is good, but we definitely need a mobile suit more suited to range. Definitely. Wow, that killed that one off the bat. And there goes that one. I'm actually kind of feeling maybe a possible red color for the sand rock. I just like the way that shoulder guard looks, or that uh, knuckle guard looks on it. Confuse all, that's nice. 
Well, we got to level up out of that. I'm quite happy with myself. Oh, hey, cutscene. Woohoo! You know, that's, that's a big trope for Dragon Ball Z is, oh, we got him! Clearly, he could never have survived a blast of that magnitude! Uh oh. Not dead. JK, not dead. Well, they are the. Well, again, out of context, but the Death Army themselves were supposed to be endless because they're just so easy to manufacture by the uh, Dark Gundam. One of my favorite mobile suits in action, by the way, was the Dark Gundam. There were two versions, the Ultimate Gundam and the Dark Gundam. I have the Dark Gundam uh, toy still someplace. It's by far one of my favorite kits. Or not, it's not even a kit. Uh, Master Army. So it's the Death Army version of Master Gundam. All right, fair enough. So we got melee attacks coming in. So let's go ahead and let's switch you out for Aeon. I think you have an Operation Hack available. Technique, Operation Attack. Uh, let's go ahead and actually charge with you and charge with you as well, because since it's a single target, we want to switch over to Gatling Fire and or Gatling Body. Oh good, she got that up quick. Knuckle. Didn't do much. Then again, I didn't. I basically threw air at him. All right, here comes a boost attack. That I'm not happy with. All right, let's switch you out for Tristan. Tristan, I want you to defend you boys. You boys, I want you to actually Gatling fire. It's about friggin' time. I like this music too, it's pretty good. Gatling fire on you. Overboost wouldn't be too bad either. This is definitely where we need to be with these guys. I don't remember how much health he has, but that was a pretty good attack. 14, uh, 1400. Wow! On Goku! Holy shit! Ow, and he gains 300 health back. That's fucking cheap. Okay, I think we're going to bring Tremi out here. You are going to charge. You are getting the fuck out of there. Let's bring... Uh, Tremi. Yeah, power charge. Something with no counter would be nice right about now. Lightning Lancer. No counter. That would be good. Mega Fire. Not that great for our purposes. Lightning Lancer it is. Technique. What do you have? Be clear. Regenerate High Bomber. Chemical bomb, light acid to all enemies. Mega grenade, that's what I want. We're gonna do a mega grenade. Lightning Lancer, thank god no counter. Not bad. That's it. That was the vet wow, that was a lot. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll drink to that. I'm not gonna bitch about this. <laughs> Got a small ECAP out of it too. Nicely done, guys. This is pretty good. Uh, I think there should be Fort Verd cleared there. Verd? I think so. Make sure you kill them and stomp them down good. Those DG cells take a little bit to break. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. All right there, Tristan. You play is cool, man. You've been waiting for a good like, 10, 15 hours to get like this. Come on, don't screw this up, kid. You know... There's a certain level of white knighting that can be okay, but I really do hate it when certain characters take it way to hammy limits. But then again, if that's part of the character, I suppose that's a good way to go about it. I mean, there can be obnoxious characters too. Well, kinda, sorta. Wait, it, it's difficult to explain there, Tristan. Just, just let her talk. thing is, though, you have to be able to accept her past, not just ignore it. That, that's a difference. Alright, so Fort Vera desires. I have no idea what the next fort is. At all. <laughs> uh, so I guess... Um, uh, you know what? What time is it? We've got just about 30 minutes into this. Let's go ahead. That's probably a little less. 
Let's go ahead and go back out here and save here. And then from next, I think, I'm trying to remember the order we actually made to the forts. I believe it's the one out by uh, Eldar Somnia. What the hell was the name of that? Uh, oh, Aired. Fort Aired. That's what it was. All right, so we'll go ahead and save here. And uh, definitely want color suggestions for the sand rock. You, if nobody colors, if nobody comes up with anything, I'm going to just uh, either come up with something of my own or just leave it as it is. So, yeah, no pressure, guys. Come on, save, save, save. Mine, mine, a pop, a pop, a pop. Oh, and somebody brought up uh, the fact that uh, you know I can get an ISO for the cursor. Yeah, I can. I'm actually playing off the disc. I prefer to play off a disc for a lot of these games. Just because it's something about not pirating and all, but since I own the game, it's not really technically pirating legally if you want to look at it. But it's a pain in the ass to get an ISO when I've got this. I can get over the curse for not being there. Um, also, one thing you can do for a lot of people who try to like emulate these games after me, if you're having trouble with a physical disc for a lot of games, try throwing them into software mode. They don't look anywhere near as as, as eye-poppingly gorgeous as they should with uh, the hardware rendering, but the software mode does usually fix a lot of problems. Try that out. All right, folks. Until then, next time, I'm uh, I'm gonna have another drink. Uh, you folks, uh, you folks, have yourself a good night. Later.